Jasper could not believe it when he laid eyes on Simba, his favorite lion, sitting in the wheelbarrow in the middle of the lion enclosure. At first he found it really funny, but after a while he realized that something more serious was going on there. Simba showed odd behavior and Jasper was getting really worried about him. He refused to leave the wheelbarrow for days and he even attacked other animals who got close to him. Nobody knew what was going on, but Jasper was determined to find out. We need to call a vet, there is no other way. Simba simply growled at anybody who dared to come close to him and this was very unlike him. When the vet finally arrived at the scene, his mouth fell open. A while later, Jasper finally understood what was going on with Simba. He could not stop the tears from streaming down his face. He should have figured this out earlier. What was Simba doing in the wheelbarrow? Why did he refuse to leave it? And why was he being so aggressive? But before we start, make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Jasper, thank goodness you're here. Come quickly, you need to see this. Jasper's colleague, Angela, greeted him as soon as he arrived at work. At that moment, Angela sighed and pointed her hand at something in front of them, saying, Just look there. Jasper followed her gaze and saw what was going on. It was indeed Simba, and he was sitting inside a wheelbarrow. Well, what's he doing in there? Jasper asked his colleague. That's the problem. We have no idea. And the thing is, he refuses to come out of it, she explained. Oh, that's strange, he replied, and Angela told him that nobody had approached Simba yet. Jasper slowly approached Simba to greet him. Hey buddy, what are you doing in there, he said, and Simba finally saw him and recognized him. He started softly purring. Come on, let's get you out of there, he said, but Simba just looked at him and did not move. Jasper shook his head. He knew Simba could be really stubborn sometimes. He decided to just wait it out and give him some time. Surely he wouldn't stay in there forever. And so, Jasper continued with his other tasks in the sanctuary, going about his day, all while keeping an eye on Simba. However, he couldn't figure out the answer to the major question that kept bugging him. Why? Simba had basically grown up under Jasper's care and they had an unbelievably strong bond. But this, this caught Jasper completely off guard. He was only getting more worried and desperate to find out what had happened to Simba. He wasn't acting like himself at all. He seemed like a totally different lion. By mid-morning, a small crowd had gathered near Simba's enclosure. Word had spread, and visitors, both regulars and newcomers, were eager to catch a glimpse of the spectacle. Is that... is he really in a wheelbarrow? A woman exclaimed. Jasper watched from a distance, his heart heavy with worry, but also touched by the community's concern. News of Simba's peculiar behavior spread beyond the sanctuary's walls. As the sun set, the crowd began to thin, but the mystery of Simba's choice remained, leaving everyone, especially Jasper, with more questions than answers. Approaching Simba became a challenge. Every time Jasper or any of the staff neared the enclosure, a deep, rumbling growl would emanate from the lion's chest. It was a clear warning. Stay away. Even Angela, who had a way with the animals, hesitated. Determined to find answers, Jasper delved into research. He pored over books and articles and consulted with animal behaviorists. Has anything like this ever been observed before? He'd ask, hoping for some insight. The experts were as baffled as he was. They offered theories and suggestions, but nothing concrete. Every lead seemed to end in a dead end, leaving Jasper more frustrated. To gain a deeper understanding of Simba's behavior, especially during the sanctuary's off hours, cameras were installed around his enclosure. As Simba's story continued to captivate the public, letters and emails poured into the sanctuary. The community's involvement was heartwarming. From children drawing pictures of Simba with water bowls to experts offering advice, everyone wanted to help. Jasper felt a renewed sense of hope, buoyed by the collective concern and love for Simba. Kiara, a graceful lioness with a playful spirit, had always shared a special bond with Simba. Noticing the unusual scene, her curiosity got the better of her. With cautious steps and a tilted head, she approached the wheelbarrow. Her soft eyes locked onto Simba's, searching for an understanding of his peculiar choice. Just as Kiara neared the wheelbarrow, a deep, thunderous roar erupted from Simba. It was a sound that echoed with intensity, startling everyone around. Her swift retreat was a testament to the power and authority behind Simba's warning. The staff watched, their hearts racing, 
as the usually playful and gentle interactions between the two lions had taken such a drastic turn. The incident with Kiara became the talk of the sanctuary. What's gotten into him? Theories were shared, but no conclusion seemed to fit. The puzzle of Simba's behavior deepened, leaving more questions than answers. Amidst the commotion and discussions, Jasper stood silently by the enclosure, his eyes fixed on the wheelbarrow. In the midst of the chaos, he noticed a slight movement beneath Simba. It was subtle, almost imperceptible, but it was there. Could there be something in the wheelbarrow with him, he pondered. Jasper's keen observation had ignited a new line of thought. With a mix of caution and curiosity, he approached the enclosure once more. From a safe distance, he tried to get a clearer view of the wheelbarrow's contents. Every so often, he'd spot a subtle movement, a slight shift beneath Simba. There's definitely something there, he murmured, his intrigue growing. We need to find out what it is, she said, her voice filled with concern. Recalling Simba's love for food, especially meat, they devised a plan. Angela fetched a large, juicy steak from the storage, its aroma wafting through the air. Simba's eyes locked onto the meat, his body tensing in anticipation. As Simba stretched upwards, trying to reach the tempting morsel, the movement beneath him became more pronounced. They exchanged glances, their faces a mix of surprise and confusion. Did you see that? Angela whispered, her eyes wide. Beneath him was a shape, a living creature, its form obscured by the shadows of the wheelbarrow. Both Jasper and Angela gasped. The sight, though brief, was enough to send their hearts racing. We need to get help, Angela whispered, her voice trembling with urgency. Without wasting a moment, Jasper pulled out his phone and dialed Dr. Randall. Doctor, we found something in the wheelbarrow with Simba. We need you here now, he said, his voice filled with a mix of excitement and concern. Understanding the gravity of the discovery, Dr. Randall's tone shifted. I'm on my way, he declared. Gathered around the enclosure, the sanctuary team discussed the best approach. With years of experience under his belt, Dr. Randall approached the task with precision. He prepared a sedative dose tailored to Simba's size and health. It's just enough to make him sleep for a short while, he explained to the anxious team. We need to act quickly once he's sedated. The syringe, filled with the tranquilizer, gleamed under the sanctuary's lights, symbolizing the hope of uncovering the mystery. Jasper watched with a heavy heart. Sedating Simba was a last resort, and the decision weighed on him. With Simba in a deep slumber, the sanctuary team, led by Dr. Randall, approached the wheelbarrow. The lion's actions were driven by a deep-seated desire to shield this creature from any perceived threats. Dr. Randall, with his expertise, began a gentle examination, ensuring it was unharmed. With the creature safely extracted from the wheelbarrow, the team gathered around, trying to identify it. With careful hands, Jasper and Dr. Randall gently moved Simba's massive form, revealing the wheelbarrow's secret. A tiny lion cub, its fur matted and a visible injury on its leg. The cub's eyes, filled with fear and pain, looked up at them. It was clear now. Simba had been guarding this injured cub, a testament to the lion's protective instincts. Jasper's eyes welled up with tears as he looked at the vulnerable cub. All the pieces fell into place, and the weight of Simba's actions hit him. He was protecting it. Dr. Randall, after a quick examination, declared, We need to treat this as soon as possible. The sanctuary team sprang into action, understanding the urgency. With the injured cub safely secured in a transport crate, the team, led by Dr. Randall and Jasper, rushed to the sanctuary's veterinary clinic. The clinic's lights shone brightly, a beacon of hope in the night. In the sterile environment of the clinic, Dr. Randall meticulously examined the young cub. With proper care, it should recover fully. Jasper let out a sigh of relief, grateful that the injuries weren't more severe. Days turned into weeks, and under Dr. Randall's expert care, the cub's strength and vitality returned. Its playful antics brought smiles to everyone at the sanctuary. The day finally arrived for the reunion. The story of Simba and the cub became legendary within the sanctuary. Visitors would gather, eager to hear the tale of the lion's protective instinct and the bond he shared with the injured cub. It served as a poignant reminder of the profound connections that exist in the animal kingdom and the unwavering dedication of those who care for them.